Hey guys, it's Meal Tip Tuesday, and I want to talk about friends. Um, the people you hang out with and associate with and the folks that you guys ride with can really make a big difference on uh, your mealmanship and well, just really the type of person you, you become, you know. I, I really believe that if you hang out with the best, you become the best. And, uh, you know, we're, we're a product of, of what goes on around us and people were around and how we deal with those situations and and so you know I've, I feel pretty blessed I have some some really awesome friends all over this whole country I got friends here at home that I ride with a lot I I there's some great men that have taught me a lot that I ride with and, and uh, there's you know great people all over this country that I ride with and that's one of the reasons I love the clinic so much is I get to hang out with people that are like-minded and and their mealmanship standards and the things that they want to accomplish and things they want to do with their mules and you know I'm really grateful for that but um, you know you need to be careful about who you hang out with it's it's really easy you know I've been on uh, uh, feels like a million rides with folks that that were not interested in working on their mules what I mean is maybe I was working on a mule on some trainings doing something maybe it's a stream crossing maybe it's just getting them to stand still to get on or Maybe I'm working on a variety of things, but you know they're in such a hurry to uh, just go down to the trail, uh, go down the trail, and just put the miles on that they don't really, you know, they don't want to wait. They don't want to wait. They say, "Oh, just just come on, fix it later." You guys have all been there. You've been in that situation where you're trying to do something. Maybe your mule's giving you a hard time putting a bridle on or something, and you're trying to get this bridle on, but your friends are all in the saddle. They're sitting there staring at you, and they start saying, "Come on, let's go." Come on, let's go. Just hurry. And you feel the pressure. The pressure's on. And, and uh, you say, all right, well, I'll just fix it later. And, but if you go riding with those same folks all the time and you have those issues all the time, you know, you're going to, your mealmanship's just going to go to the wayside. You're not going to work on it at all. So I'd encourage you to stick to your standards and pick your friends. You know, the friends I hang out with, the friends I ride with, they, like I said, they're like minded in mealmanship and they want to bring out the best in their mules and they're interested in these things that we teach in the clinics and the, the type of riding that we do. They're interested in that and, and I really enjoy hanging out with those folks. And your success might depend upon the type of people you hang out with. You know, if if you have some goals and your friends that you typically ride with don't have any of the same goals, well, maybe it's time to find some friends that do, you know. Um, uh, or maybe it'll be you setting that good example for your friends. That's that's pretty common for me too. I. I have a lot of different standards than a lot of my friends, and uh, it's my hope that I keep sticking to my standards and keep riding the way I do, and hopefully someday they'll maybe ask me about it and I want to improve their mealmanship and horsemanship skills too. But anyways, that's something to think about today. Hope you guys have a great week. Um, we're here at the Contoy Arena um, in Mount Pleasant, getting ready for a clinic this weekend. Here's the big indoor arena behind me, and uh, looking forward to it. So hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you.